Welcome to the Bullpen. I'm Anthony Bultero from Maple Leaf Athletics, and I'm here with the Maple Leaf baseball coach, Alex Childers. Thank you for coming out today, Coach. Pleasure being here. All right, so Coach, uh, what is your playing and coaching background? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, so I graduated in 2007 from Olivet Nazarene University. Uh, I played baseball at both Goshen College and Olivet Nazarene University. Uh, I got a business degree from Olivet. I wouldn't say that I knew I was going to go into coaching when I first uh, started playing college baseball. Uh, it just kind of happened that way. So I got a business degree, uh, worked and lived in Chicago, and uh, about a year after that, I got a call to uh, be an assistant baseball coach here at Goshen, and uh, two years after that, I became the head coach here. All right. So uh, how would you describe your coaching philosophy? Um, we're a player's first program. Uh, I think that's something that I kind of took on right away, and I wanted to be about the players, not uh, about me or anything besides just them. Um, so philosophically, everything that we do is geared towards the players. We want to enjoy, uh, enjoy the game enjoy being around each other and working hard towards a common goal. Okay. And who have been some role models for you over the years as a coach? Um, man, I, I think when you look back, uh, a lot of just in general is shaped by the people and mentors that you're around. You know, my high school uh, baseball coach, uh, the two coaches that coached me in college. Um, and then I think we're pretty blessed within the conference. There's there's some awesome coaches within the Crossroads League that um, th that I look to, um, and, and I think just having that fraternity um, that you belong to, that you can uh, bounce stuff off each other, um, is, is a huge impact. And then, I mean, our coaching staff. I, I really enjoy Coach Grubb, uh, Coach Doug. They, they're they're awesome guys to be around. Um, and when you get guys that are in it for the right reasons. Um, it, it, it really he it really helps the program pro uh, progress. Um, just just having guys of like minds together. And uh, what has shaped your coaching philosophy? Um, I think I think those guys um, having a focus on something that's that's beyond just the game of baseball too. Uh, and we talk all the time about developing guys beyond their four year playing career here, you know, like what does that look like? What's it like to be a man? You know, like like what does that look? Try to play that out um, for the guys as best we can um, and, and for them to see that there's more than just baseball. It's important because we pour a lot of time into it, but it can't be our just sole identity. And uh, since you've been a coach here, do you have any memorable stories you could share with us? Oh, gosh. I mean, too many to count. I think, <laughs> I think like every season there's – uh, there's stuff that you look back on, and you do you, you remember more than just the games or the wins and losses. You remember those those memories. Um, I mean, even looking back in my first year, uh, a young guy that you know, self admittedly, I didn't I didn't have a clue what was going on, and the results right. weren't great in year one. But just how, regardless of the win loss, how you can still have an impact on guys, how you still you know, a, as crazy as that sounds, to look back fondly on a year that was you know, didn't turn out in the win-loss column as well as we wanted, and to see it kind of progress to, you know, where it was last year. We had a good run at the end, um, but, man, I, there's probably too many stories to, <laughs> to pick one out. Yes. And uh, speaking of last year, uh, last year the baseball team had its winningest season since 1995, and uh, we've lost a couple key players to graduation. Uh, how do you think this year's team compares to that team? Um, that's a good question. Last year's group was really, really special. I think um, just in the fact that they were guys that said yes to Goshen College Baseball when results hadn't been there, and to see uh, that, that group of guys, especially those seniors, that poured so much into it when we weren't truthfully very good, uh, to see us in one game away from playing in the, uh, the NAI opening round was really kind of cool. Um, but to compare this team, I really like this team. I enjoy coaching this team. Uh, they're, they're a group of guys that kind of have a hunger and a desire to get better. Do we have some stuff to replace? Yeah, I mean, we had some key contributors last year that, uh, that graduated and moved on. But, but overall, I, I really do, I think the sky's the limit with this group. Um, they have as good a work ethic as any that I've coached. You know, they, they intrinsically, they want to get better. They push their teammates um, in, in the same way that they push themselves. 
and when everybody's kind of pushing each other and there's co natural competition within practice, it makes everybody better. To say how it compares when we haven't played a game yet, it's tough to say. Um, we're going to have to find a way to get guys out, and we're going to have to find a way to make up for some runs that got produced by those graduating seniors. But uh, it'll be exciting to see how it shapes up. <laughs> and uh, you've brought in 12 freshman ball players this year. How do you think these guys are going to fit in? I mean, there's always an adjustment, right, when yeah. you get new guys that come in. Uh, I'll say this about our returners. Uh, they do a really good job of pulling those guys along and making them feel uh, included, inclusive, apart, not uh, us versus them. Um, and that's something that we tried to instill, you know, in my time here. It's like, hey, look, we're all working towards a common goal. Seniority isn't really a thing that's talked about within our program. You know, we're all together first year to seniors. Um, we're all a part of this team and a valuable, valuable part of this team. Um, but out of those 12 freshmen, I mean, there's we lost a lot of innings on the mound. Um, while we return a lot of position players, we lost a lot of innings on the mound. And uh, there's a chance for some of those freshmen um, and some of those younger guys that didn't get maybe as many innings last year to kind of step up. But that'll be, a, that'll be a big test for us. Can we get guys out, right? And can guys that haven't pitched and thrown innings at the college level or volume innings at the college level, can they be efficient enough uh, to keep us in ball games? Because I do. I think our offense, um, when we lose a little bit of firepower um, and guys from the left side, we have the ability to keep the line moving um, and score in a variety of ways, which I think should be exciting. Okay. And uh, what are your expectations for this year? And do you have any like goals you want to achieve throughout the year? I think the biggest thing is is just keep building on on where we've kind of taken it. You know, and Coach Doug always has a saying. You know, he, you know nobody's laughing at us now. You know, we first started this thing. I mean, there were some rough spots. You know, everybody's looking forward to Goshen being on a schedule. Uh, I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, I think that uh, I don't want to say we're force that's not that's the sort of term but everybody knows that hey when when you got ghost on the schedule you're going to get a feisty group uh a never say die group a, a group that's going to compete and uh grind keep going no matter what and uh you know it's really easy to kind of talk process over results but i it, you know if you look at the track record of what goshen college baseball has been in the past you know five years it's what it is it, it's the process hey can we do things the right way and the results will take care of themselves. Uh, so goals, um, yeah, I mean, we want to we want to play baseball for as long as we can. We want to be in the conference tournament. Um, we want to make a run just like we did last year. And I, and I don't think it's a bad thing to vocalize and say, hey, yeah, we want to be there. We want to be playing. We want to be one of the last two teams playing in that conference tournament. Um, and you know, being a game away last year, uh, we want to get there. When you pour pour yourself into it, um, it makes it that much tougher to you know, quit or let that let that slip through your fingers. So I'm excited about the year. Um, uh, and the best part about baseball is it gets decided on the field. You know, you can write all you want up on paper. Hey, we look better here. We look worse there, or what have you. You got to go on the field. You got to throw it. You got to catch it. You got to hit it. <laughs> well, thank you for coming out, Coach. It's been yeah. a pleasure. And uh, that wraps up today's bullpen session. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to Coach Childers for sitting down with me. Now we turn our attention to the Diamond as we take a look for the upcoming schedules for February. Starting off for softball, NEIA leadoff tournament will be starting on February 2nd and ending on the 3rd. Then they will go down to Arizona for the spring break trip starting on the 24th. And for baseball, the season opener will be in Pikeville on February 18th. Then the team will go down to Georgia on the 24th. And that's what's coming up for baseball and softball. Join me next month on the bullpen as we discuss a bit more baseball all here on 574 Sports. When, when it comes to living well, healthy minds and bodies are a supporting community. I don't know what that is.